What is up, you guys? Today we're going to be talking about Litecoin breaking $125 at the time of me filming, actually $126, running all the way up, actually, and touching $129, about $130 on Coinbase. So we're going to be talking about that in this video. But also, how high can this pump go? Is it completely due to the halving coming up in less than 60 days? Will it reach the target that I've talked about in previous videos? Those are all topics of discussion in this video. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all the good stuff, and we can just jump right into it. So I actually want to start off on Litecoin Bitcoin pairing. As we can see here, Litecoin continuing to move up. Actually, only four days ago, Bitcoin was 1.3% uh, of a Bitcoin. Now it is all the way up at almost 1.6% of a Bitcoin. Uh, as many of you do know, Bitcoin and Litecoin have a nice relationship. Litecoin is really traded in between about half a percent to 2% for a very long time, even touching all the way up to uh, about 2.5%. And even prior to that, you know, a few years back, I believe it was even 3 and 4%. But really the goal here is to get Litecoin to break out, get maybe 6 plus percent of Bitcoin's value. We're going to jump into Litecoin chart as well, but I just want to take a look and just show you here. So Litecoin is up roughly 8% here. You can see the rest of the market around 1%, 2% up, some in the red, but most, most of them are 1% to 2% up. Bitcoin obviously, or sorry, Litecoin obviously is the top gainer here in the top 10 in the top 20. If we look here, we see Litecoin number four cryptocurrency. It's about $9 billion away from XRP's market cap, so not very close, but we do have a much bigger lead in terms of Bitcoin cash to Litecoin, their market cap, about an $800 million difference at this point. Just a few days ago, that was not the case. So I want to take a look here at Litecoin's chart, and then we can jump into more stuff. So this is a channel I've had here for a while. This is just Litecoin and it has been bouncing off of the bottom of this each and every time and just based on this this trajectory this channel here uh, there's definitely some more upside in the short term and again we have to factor in that the halving is coming in less than 60 days right here around august 6th uh, which is what this line is right here now just obeying this channel here not to say it won't break out of this channel but that could easily lend a, a near 300 dollar Litecoin before the halving. A lot of people think there will be a huge price run up in Litecoin prior to the halving, similar to the past, and then probably a dump after the halving. Uh, but you really have to think, I think a lot of people are educated in the space at this point, and a lot of people are very aware of this. So I think the fact that so many people are aware of the fact that it has pumped prior to the halving and dumped after the halving, um, could that play a role in maybe changing what happens this time? I think that's definitely a possibility, and I think it's something we have to account for. Now, more than ever in history, more and more people are paying attention to crypto than ever before in history. More people are waiting on the sidelines than ever in history. Uh, and every day that the crypto market goes up, that number of people that become interested, that start waiting on the sidelines, and not even waiting on the sidelines, actually get into the market every single day, the price that goes up, all of those things increase as well. So we can see adoption uh, happen pretty fast. Now again, Litecoin has historically, this is something people say as well, led cryptocurrencies or, or Bitcoin and crypto out of bear markets. And it really did at the beginning of April, about two months ago, and it's still leading the way in a lot of ways right now. Again, it, a lot of it could have to do with the halving. I think that that's a huge factor that's kind of overlapping everything here. But I just think there's a lot going on, and I don't necessarily think Litecoin's gonna have a, a massive dump after the, after the halving. I definitely think there will be a dump. But just how big it is percentage wise and how long it stays in lower levels, I think is up for debate. And I think it could get bought up pretty fast. I think Litecoin is very desirable and I think it's becoming more and more desirable as well. So I want to talk about the bull market here. And of course, we have Litecoin mentioned the title here with the top cryptos. But before we do that, I do want to also just point out this comment from the crypto Reddit that I stumbled upon. It's only 20 minutes old at the time of me filming this. But somebody said Litecoin has an $8 billion market cap. However, it has absolutely no progress on GitHub and it makes no sense. Essentially, the market is nonsense. And there, this person says, you know, like there's no reason Litecoin should be uh, as valued as it is. Uh, we have a comment here underneath it directly is saying they're coming out with privacy features Bitcoin will never have and or will at least take five years to implement. And I think there's plenty of reasons why Litecoin's going up. Even even a mega critic of Litecoin could even maybe attribute it to the having, which maybe the person's just unaware that the having is happening. So I want to go over this article a little bit, and then we can finish off the video talking about Litecoin a little more. This, however, does relate directly to Litecoin. So titled here on newsbitcoin.com by Tony. So it's titled Bull Market Imminent, Why Investors Are Stacking Ethereum, XRP, and Litecoin. With Bitcoin back in the public eye and mainstream media spotlight and its price back into the green, 
Speculation that a bull market is starting has begun to spread across the crypto market. Bullish sentiment has also spilled into Bitcoin's crypto brethren, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin. Uh, so the top four there, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and Litecoin. And a full-blown altcoin season is expected by most crypto traders. So this is something I thought was interesting, actually, and I'd love to hear if this is valid or relevant to you. Nearly 50% of crypto traders' portfolios are dominated by the altcoin space. With crypto Twitter conversation lit up like the 4th of July uh, about the promise of what altcoin season can bring, more and more investors are taking larger positions in Bitcoin's competition. So that essentially just means alt. So this post here, uh, this tweet by Don Alt, Crypto Don Alt, how much of your portfolio is in altcoins? The majority of people said between 60 to 100 percent. The poll here, uh, this has 17,000 votes. The poll results reveal 50 percent of all crypto traders' portfolios are compromised of 60 percent to 100 percent altcoins. I think a lot of people are into altcoins such as Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, XRP, you know, Digibyte Nano, Quantum. I think the reason people are so heavily invested in those altcoins is because they see it as a much bigger opportunity in a lot of ways uh, to get in earlier. You know, a lot of people view Bitcoin as a ship that's already sailed, even though Bitcoin still has potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars of valuation to still gain. A lot of people view smaller market cap coins as coins where they can not only make more money, but just get more of, get more involved in prior um, you know, get more excited about potential news for all of these altcoins heading forward. And so really, I think it just represents a new opportunity, a potentially better opportunity. And I think, honestly, what it boils down to for most is probably just that you can make, you know, there's a potential to make more money. So it says the big three, Ethereum, XRP, and Litecoin, all leading this the season charge, the altcoin season charge. Now Litecoin is actually above Bitcoin Cash, so I think a lot of people are happy about that as well. A lot of people see Bitcoin Cash as a coin that doesn't necessarily have a place. Uh, Bitcoin SV kind of falls into that as well. Uh, so a lot of people would like to see number five and number eight here kind of removed from the list. And yeah, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Litecoin, I think a lot of people really do agree that those, at least for now, should be the top four. I know a lot of you watching think Litecoin should be number two and XRP shouldn't be in there or vice versa. Actually, no, nobody that watches this probably thinks XRP should be in the top five. I do personally hold XRP just because I think it probably will be a good investment long term. Um, but really, you know, obviously the reason I make Litecoin videos is because, I mean, that's it's my favorite project. And I do think that that will be very successful. I like Bitcoin as well. I just think Litecoin offers something that Bitcoin doesn't. And for example, what we just talked about, uh, the new privacy features that are hopefully getting rolled out. So it's major cap altcoins, Ethereum, Ripple, and Litecoin are driving much of the bullish sentiment in the market. And I would argue, at least as of the past two months, it's been Litecoin really leading a lot of that. This individual here, Peter Brandt, has this exactly. The Litecoin and Bitcoin pairing has completely has completed a significant buy signal, new recovery highs in XRP, he goes on to talk about. And overall, there's just been a lot of talk about Litecoin in the space recently. I think it's exciting to see that. Uh, and yeah, and currently in this video, you know, you can see the 24 or the seven day prices of these cryptocurrencies here. And you see Litecoin just having that spike up there. So to end the video, I do want to kind of move back to Litecoin. How high really can Litecoin go before the halving? And who is to say that after the halving, the price doesn't continue on an upswing? Uh, and, and my argument for that basically is that we're at a very, very critical time in terms of uh, adoption and the bull market essentially beginning. Now that's coming around the time of Litecoin having its halving. So if there's a ton of momentum in the market, uh, around this time period in October, August, September, November, December of 2019, if the sentiment continues to pick up, there's absolutely no way Litecoin would do something. There's absolutely no way, in my opinion, that Litecoin would do something like this. I just don't, I just don't ever see something like that being possible. If anything, maybe something more like that, uh, where we have a nice price increase. This is super, super uh, parabolic. So maybe even if we were a little more conservative, if we were a little more conservative, maybe something like this. Honestly, though, I do see uh, Litecoin having a pullback at some point, probably independent of the market because of this having news. But however, since the bull market is really getting kicked off, I think that the momentum would be so strong probably after the having if things continue to even go half as well as they are now. Momentum could be so strong that Litecoin just absolutely pops off and continues with the rest of the market. However, Litecoin could really, right now, here we are in the uh, beginning of June, could really help things get kicked off, get excitement back in the market. Again, markets are essentially completely psychological, and seeing a coin rise exponentially well is just a good thing for 
people's attitudes and people's uh, sentiment about the market, even if it is about a fundamental thing such as a halving. It can really, truly uh, start this thing, really give it a nice kickstart and kind of boost everything. So that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.